Hello, Twitter world, it's me, yours truly. Today I wanted to make a part two, sort of speak, for the M50 video that I made a while back. Uh, I know it's one of my most popular videos, but it also draws a lot of questions from the comments section. But before I answer those questions, I uh, wanted to talk about some things I missed out on putting into the video. So, without further ado, the first thing I want to talk about is the drinking straw. I didn't talk about this last time, but and normally, this would be your drinking straw. You uh, have it wrapped around here, but the VPU is in the way, and you'd have it plugged into here. Um, but this right here is a Camelback to drinking straw adapter. You just plug that in there. It's all nice and good. You could have this dangling around. It won't fall out. It's really on there. So what this will allow you to do is to drink from your Camelback that's in your map, like Eagle Industry, GMR, Ido Gear, Flat Pack, whatever. Anything that can hold a Camelback. And then you can just route it onto here. And then what you do is you grab this little switch here. And then you push the straw into your mouth. Now I'm going to demonstrate me drinking. To show that it really works. You see there's water coming out of it. It could be all nasty and gross and just have water dripping out. Uh, what I would suggest you do is to not leave this plugged into your Camelback. And uh, why I say that is because I used to have my MSA Millennium plugged in all the time during like hot summer games. I'd lean over and uh, it would rush all the water through the straw into my mask and my mask would just be pouring full of water and uh, then it would dry up and it would just get fogged up even quicker ah uh, not not good i don't know if it works for the m50 like that though but uh by the time i learned my lesson i had already bought my m50 so you know just don't leave it in there plugged in you can just tuck your uh tuck your straw away and then just keep the adapter don't pull the adapter out because uh you don't want to order another one and wait for them. They're like 10 bucks. They're not that expensive. I got mine off eBay though. Uh, just type in Camelback to drinking straw M50 adapter. Second thing I want to touch on is the visor types. In my last video, I did mention that uh, there is a clear visor and then there is a dark visor for the daytime. I did not touch on the other visors because uh, they're really hard to get your hands on. They're not usually sold on eBay. And if they're sold anywhere, they're sold on Avon's website or AE on Fox. Um, and they're usually sold for about a hundred bucks or more than that. So I did download a PDF right here and I will link the, uh, the PDF so that you guys can have it for yourself. But I'm just going to show it right here. So this shows you the spec sheet here as to which gas mask can fit so we are pulling the m50 today and uh so you have your clear sunlight blue blocker laser mirrored but breach right here for as cool as that one looks that one does not fit on the m50 or at least according to the chart it does not so uh keep that in mind and before you go and buy a uh, a breach visor I have seen the laser visor on eBay before. It was pretty expensive then, and uh, some of them were pretty cheap, but the blue blocker I have never seen on eBay. Honestly, I wouldn't run a different colored one all the time, though, for Airsoft in particular, because when you're playing Airsoft, color coordination and knowing what color a certain person's like, team tag is is very important to knowing who you're supposed to shoot and who you're supposed to team up with. So keep that in mind before you get one. The cheap VPU that I wanted to touch on. Now, this VPU that I'm about to pull out isn't really the best, but it'll definitely get the job done. I have seen people use them on the field before, but not for like a Seaburn application. So this right here is the voice booster. I'll link this and the throat mic in the description below. Um, it also fits really well into, not my balakava, um, the Emerson pouch that's really good for, I don't know what it's called, but I'll link that. This is really good for holding the, uh, the 
thing that shoots the air into your eyes. What's that called? I forgot what it's called. Anyways, um, this is what I wanted to touch on. So, if you're running something like the MSA Millennium, or you're running something like a 3M, uh, a 3M respirator where they don't have VPUs, or the MSA Millennium doesn't have a very good VPU, this can get picked up on your Peltors. I had it in my mini map, like way in the back there, and it was still being picked up on my Peltors. I had that pouch on my admin uh, Velcro part for my Pharaoh. It picked it up. So this does work with your Peltors, is what I'm trying to say. So let's see how it sounds. And these are about 50 bucks, so you're about to get $50 quality right here. Alright, alright, alright. So, you see that the quality of the sound isn't super duper sharp, but it is definitely passable. Better than what I used to do for my, <laughs> my respirator, where I would just run nothing and I would just have like, I would just be completely muffled. It was kind of silly. Spotted a couple turned out um, But yeah, those are, those are pretty good for in case you don't want to spend 300 bucks on one of these so there's that now to address the questions i got from my comment section the most asked question i seem to have gotten is uh is it good for breathing in um yeah it's pretty good for breathing in uh it's not a secret that the papr unit that blows the air into the mask definitely helps a lot um but <laughs> It is something to get used to. Your breathing is going to be a bit labored. You're not going to be able to sprint as long uh, as you would like to. and uh, But it's still it's still passable. It's not like cupping your hands around your mouth and then just like airtight trying to breathe in. It's not like that. But uh, just always remember when to like take deep breaths and when to, you know, just do that. Because sometimes... I've seen people that just kept talking and kept running and running and they weren't really breathing in a lot and then they're like, I don't like this. This sucks. I hate this. It's like, well, you're not doing it right. Uh, second question, where can I find? And then any equipment that I had in the video. Um, most, if not all of my equipment that I had in that video was from eBay. And... Um, like American eBay, not UK eBay. You're not going to find these on UK eBay. ITAR and all that. Um, yeah, it, you can just find it on eBay. The biggest challenge about all of that is just uh, waiting for it to get in stock, waiting for it to be in good condition because it's not always going to be used, especially for M50s and their visors are scratched up. I need to get a new visor. Another question. You sound like Bane. Guys, the thermal drill, go get it. Uh, I don't really see it, but uh, I wish people would stop asking me to do Bane impressions at uh, airsoft fields. <laughs> it's getting kind of old. Um, and they will, they'll straight up stop you. Like, no, 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 no. Like, sing me a song. It's like, no, go away. <laughs> um, would that mask fit over glasses? No. It will not fit over just like normal glasses that you have with like the arms that hoop around your ears and stuff. Um, they do make proprietary inserts that are that go under like here, and they they hold your prescriptions. But uh, no, your glasses aren't going to fit. But they do accommodate for people who do need prescriptions. So they're something for that. But I never needed them. I don't know what they're even called. Um, just look up prescription M50 insert and you'll be on your way of researching that. Is size medium, is it better than a size small? That's a bit of a funny question because it's really all relevant to your face size. Now, if you don't know how to get that measurement, um, there is a sizing chart, but it's not a printout. It's a piece of cardboard. Uh, it's the sizing tool M50, the Avon M50 sizing tool. It cost 88 bucks. Complete ripoff, honestly. But, um, it's a lot better than spending $500 on a gas mask that you cannot return. 
and uh, it's not even in your size, and then you're going to have to flip it for somebody who wants to buy it for more than you bought it for or equal to. So uh, if you're really, really, really paranoid about getting the wrong size gas mask, go ahead and buy one of those. Um, and this question, the final question. It is my favorite question. I've been waiting, dreaming that someone would ask me this, <laughs> because I, I would love to answer it. Um, what makes one need a gas mask on an airsoft field? Are you allowed to use sea burns? And uh, I feel like a full face mask that doesn't restrict your breathing would be more ideal. So I'm going to answer the first part of this question. What would one, why would you need to wear a gas mask at airsoft? Um... And the second question is kind of the second part of that I need. Are you allowed to use sea burns? So I think what he's asking is, am I allowed to use chemical warfare? Am I allowed to deploy uh, CS and Zyklon and all sorts of uh, like Agent Orange and all that wacky stuff? Uh, traditionally, uh, like normal pickup games at like your local fields and at Milsom. No, you're not allowed to use CS gas on people. So... I don't need and I don't need a gas mask for what they're used for, which is filtering out toxic chemicals in the air and stopping me from breathing it in, or stopping it from getting on my skin and wearing mop gear and all that. No, I don't need it. But what I do need it for is for when I go to really close quarter fields where they don't really have uh, super strict rules on engagement. So you're you're often getting shot in the face. With uh, 400 plus FPS HPA like high kappas, where people are just dumping rounds into your face with no remorse, uh, and I have seen friends lose their teeth because people have shot them in the mouth and they weren't wearing anything. So yeah, like I use it for to stop me from getting shot in my braces or if I'm wearing like the ESS frames that have the the little cut like down here where the air flows through like to stop me from getting hit there i had a friend get shot in the under eyelid because he was just wearing his crossbows uh and the last part of the question i feel like a full face mask that doesn't restrict your breathing would be more ideal you sir are correct uh however this is about the drip and uh airsoft is mostly about drip airsoft is mostly about fashion and uh, it doesn't really matter how many kills you get. It doesn't really matter how many people you get out. If, uh, if your Instagram pictures aren't on point, then uh, I'm sorry. You are failing in one aspect of Airsoft. <laughs> but all joking aside, yeah, that is the reason why I would I wear a gas mask for fashion. The dye mask and paintball mask and the... Uh, and like the steel face and the mandible that you attach to your arc rails on your bump helmet. Those are all way better. You can aim easier. You can breathe easier. You can talk easier. Um, realistically, yeah. Like if I wanted to just completely optimize and streamline myself in airsoft, I would definitely wear a die mask. But uh, I'm, I'm not a speed softer and I'm not really into that kind of fashion at all. So... That's why I wear an M50, and that's why, you know. So, yeah. Um, other than that, I will link everything that I bought from a store in the description below. Um, and you guys have a nice one.